to Schooly HQ, uh, my name's Chris, and um, today we're going to be looking at an estimation station. So this is something really quite, f well, really good fun that you can set up. You can find a little space in your corner, in your kitchen somewhere. Um, and this really promotes children, as it says there, to finding something close to the correct answer, usually with some thought or a calculation involved, okay? So it's a great skill that the children all need to, le uh, to learn. They need to learn to approximate or estimate, and ultimately they're having a little guess. So there's no wrong answer with this, okay? So it's really good fun, and I know when I've done it with my children in my class, they absolutely love it. Don't even need to have a prize at the end of it. They just want to do it. They just want to see who can get the closest. To set this up, really, you just need a jar, okay? It's great if you've got a jar like so, or a smaller one with a lid, and I'll show you why you need a lid a little bit later on, but it's not essential, okay? You need a lid, because if you're using things like this, tend to get stolen and eaten. Mm. So okay. as you can see, I've set up a number of little different estimation stations. As I said, you only really need one jar. Um, one with the lid on would be fantastic, but it doesn't, it's not essential, believe me, okay? You do need to be able to see through it, so the children can see right the way around it, okay? But it can come in something like that, even like a little plastic box or something. Have a little look in there, or a jar, I've just used the a little uh, pasta jar there, cup, anything like that. And as you can see, a lot of my estimation things here are food based. All they need to do is have a little look, have a little think, have a little guess, okay? Take a sticky note, it can just be a piece of paper or anything. Have a little look and write down, mm, brr, 40, I think there's 40 pasta pieces. Pasta pieces even. And then if you've got a piece of paper or a corner, you can just stick it on there, and mums and dads can get involved, really brothers, sisters, anyone at home can get involved. You could leave this up, put it up in the morning, leave it for the rest of the day. Children have a quick another look, another guess even, and then at the end of the day, you could have like, I don't know, a little competition, see who's got the, the closest. Now, the great thing then is to count it all out. Again, another fantastic skill that the children need to do and need to be doing every day is counting it, okay? So again, take, the, take your children, get them counting them. You can count them in individually. You can count them in twos. You can put them in fives and count them in fives as well. And we'll get to the number and see who wins. Uh, little pro tip, great thing with the little ones, don't go over 20. Just stick with 20 items in there. So when you're setting it up, just putting 20 sweets or a number less than 20 in there. As the children get a little bit older, maybe going a little bit more, I don't know, say 20, 30, up to 50, and as they get older again, I'd go to maybe up to 100. You don't have to stick to food. We can go with cotton wool buds or something like that. There you go, something a little bit different. Woohoo! Okay, same thing. Put them in there, guess them, stick them out, count them. And um, again, if you haven't got a jar, you can just leave it in the bag. You can still see it and count it. Or even if you put them out in bowls, okay, and put out a number of them, Okay, different type, different size bowls. Okay, you could even have a, ga a game of right, which one's going to have the most thin. You have a guess at that. How many's in there? How many's in there? Which one's going to be the big, uh, the, the most amount in each one? Great little, great little game there you can do. Again, you can use paper clips, anything you can find. Cotton wool buds, anything small. Lego pieces are a really good idea as well. Put them in a jar. Put them in a cup and have a lot of fun with it, okay? Don't forget the maths behind it or the learning behind it, but we're using language like approximating or guessing, estimation, try and use those words right the way through. So as I said, I wouldn't necessarily have everything set up, I'd just have one job, or maybe two, depending on how old your children are. Now, I've got to set, set one up here, I've set one up already, and this is gonna be for Louis, just to have, have a little go with him. Come on, son. So. All he's going to do, he's going to have a little look, have a little guess some, how many do you think is going to be in here? I'm going to leave it from there. I could leave it right the way through the day for him to have a little look, no cheating, and have a guess. That's why we leave lids on. Have a quick guess. I'm going to have a guess as well. I haven't counted it, so I don't know. Come on. Oh, go on. You just stole your pen. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, why? I'm going to say about 50. Okay. I'm going to leave my answer there. I'm going to say about 42. Okay. Random guess. So, 
at some point of the day, we can come back, so we can get the jar, let's go, we're gonna count it out, and again, woohoo! Okay. Fast is going everywhere. Right. Now, simply, Lou, how would you count that? What's your best way of counting it? One, two. Is that the most quickest and the most effective way? No. Probably not, what would you think? Two. Twos. Four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, and then we'll put them, maybe group them into that ten. 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 61, 62, 64. I can always go back and check each 10 pile just to make sure that it's correct. So I can get Lou to check that. So again, he's just counting it, you know, all the time. So it's always fun to use something that we, we use every day. Um, so why not use some sweets or candies or whatever you want to call them. I've just put it in a wine glass. There's no lid on. Come on, Belle. All right. And this time, Belle's going to have a little guess. So remember, we're guessing or approximating how many sweets you think is in this glass. What do you think? I'm going to have a little guess. Again, I promise you, I haven't counted them. <laughs> but I'm going to say, and remember, I'm going to tell her as well, it's no more than 20. All right. I'm not going to make it too big. It's no more than 20. So any number between 1 and, one and 20, I'm going to put down... Mm, number 17, I think it's 17. What do you think? So you're going to go for... 15. 15, okay. So we'll put our guesses on our estimation station there. And again, throughout the day, we can just put the guesses up and then it's time to count them, okay? So come over here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. Well, oh, hang on a minute, though. But I want to check you. I want you to check that, okay? But well, what's a different way we could do to count them? Instead of counting them ones, what we could... Two, four, we, six, we eight, could count them in two. Five, so let's move them as we count them. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Sixteen. Who's the closest? Both of us. We're both the closest, aren't we? Do you know what that means? We both win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, so I'll tell you what we'll do. Choose a sweet. Okay. Don't forget the maths behind it or the learning behind it, but we're using language like approximating or guessing, estimation. Try and use those words right the way through. When you're counting, counting in ones, always count with the children. Get the children to count out and help them and count with them. Count with the ones, counting twos, counting fives, counting tens, okay? Keep those numbers low when the, the children are that little bit younger, up to 20, don't go any more than that. Up to 30 as they get better and better throughout the days and the weeks, okay? And just use different types of vessels, different things to put them in, but make sure it's clear so that you can see. Set it up in the corner and have fun and post your ideas, take pictures of them, let me see your estimation stations, put them on our Twitter, put them on our Instagram, and. Um, and let's see, let's see how you get on. So have fun with that. Keep guessing, keep up approximating, okay? And we'll see you next time. Bye.